Hey survivors, welcome to Dead Matter Vlog 05. We've been super busy and tons of progress has been made in all departments since our last development update. Let's get straight into it. Our talented lead artist Shirk has created plenty of buildings since our last vlog. We've got a new set of cabins, as well as a new set of public toilets to go with them. We care about all of the details, especially number 1 and 2. Shirk has also created some super awesome commercial warehouses. They're perfect if you're looking for some crafting supplies, or if you're looking for a medium-sized shelter for your group of survivors. Shirk has also created a church, which will be found throughout our map, featuring a hidden office, as well as a bell tower. Shirk has also done another pass on the police station, mainly focusing on the basement area, which now includes an armory, one of the most reliable sources for mid-tier weapons and gear. I'll stop talking for a second to let you take in the atmosphere. Nomad has created a Nera evacuation center. These will randomly pop up in different locations on different servers. They'll contain a plethora of medical supplies. Nera evacuation centers are also a hot spot for the infected. Plan accordingly. Nomad has also upgraded his Firewatch Tower in order to bring it up to speed with the standard of Shirk's buildings. You should feel a lot more at home should you decide to take one of these over for yourself. Do you hate people walking into the same building as you? Do you just hate said people? Want to attract a horde to the building just to mess with them? You now can! If someone pulls the alarm on you, you can just reset it from the control panel. Our weapon and camera systems have received another pass. We now have an adaptive peeking system to ensure that you can always see your target when aiming down sights from behind cover. We've now implemented a proper set of reload animations for the Mosin Nagant, including a stripper clip reload. Scopes, holographic sights, and red dot sights have all received their first implementation. They are close, but not final, and we will be doing a polish pass in the future to address this. Our talented animator, the shiny Haxorus, has been adding six new weapons to the game. They're not finished just yet, but they're close enough that we feel comfortable showing them off. The HR-75, the best gun to come out of Croatia since 1975. The HP-9, a pistol commonly found in military loot areas. This one is a personal favorite of mine. AK-74, accurate, reliable, Russian, and upset. The Makarov, renowned for being a tier 0 pea shooter, and in Dead Matter, it's not much different. It's got 8 rounds, shoots 9mm, and doesn't really pack a punch. The E92, commonly used by the US as well as some Canadian armed forces. This weapon will be commonly found in helicopter drops. It's got a 15 round magazine, and it's pretty sweet. Last, but certainly not least, the Wood Axe. Still a work in progress, but once completed, this will unlock the door to us rapidly adding any backlogged melee weapons that can utilize the same animation set. Construction signs have been added to the game. Want to get your trading career off the ground? Some of these signs can be towed with a vehicle, and you'll be able to set the text that appears on the screen. There have been plenty of minor changes to our inventory system. Along with the new UI from our last development vlog, you can now place objects onto the ground. In the future, you'll be required to set up the tent after it is placed on the ground. Item organization just got a little bit better, as you can now store items in subcontainers which allow easier management of your inventory as well as a slight bonus to your overall carry capacity. You can now pick up large objects such as jerry cans, metal, and wood sheets for barricading, propane tanks for barbecues, and much more. This is a very early implementation of a generic system that we'll be forging a lot of gameplay elements from. Our old doors sucked, so we went and made some new ones. You can now physically interact with the doors, even though they just use fancy math instead of actual physics. You can also knock on doors. Just keep in mind that the infected can run through the door just as easily as you can. If you'd like to get your own road named after you, or a personalized hockey jersey, all while supporting Dead Matter, head on over to our Indiegogo page. There's a wide variety of once in a lifetime perks that you can get in exchange for your support. Show us some love via social media, Twitter, Facebook, our forums, and our community Discord, which is extremely active. We've also created a thread to discuss this video, and there is a link to that in the description. We're a tiny no-bullshit team. Our goal is to make a damn good survival game that we actually want to play. We aren't great project managers, but we've got a really talented team, and we strive to regularly update and interact with our community. Listening to your feedback enables us to make a better game, so please stop by on our Discord or on our forums. We listen and care about feedback. It's important to us. Thank you for watching this to the end. We truly appreciate your support.
See you in the new year.